Also this morning, protesters will be greeting the woman at the center of a massive animal cruelty case as she returns to court today. News 4's Michelle McClintock is here with more. Michelle. That's right. We first told you about the story back in March, and Beth Hoskins will return to court first thing this morning. When she does, she'll be greeted with protesters who want to make sure she doesn't get her horses back. Civil proceedings against Beth Hoskins continue today in state Supreme Court. Last week, a judge ordered the SPCA to return 40 of the 73 horses seized from her farm in the town of Aurora. The SPCA says it has already spent more than $200,000 caring for the animals. Today, we could find out how much Hoskins will have to start paying back. I'm concerned about her ability to care for these animals. Uh, my understanding is that she's hired three part-time help takes us 10 people to take care of 40 horses. Hoskins says she's cared for the horses for more than 30 years and the conditions were normal. The horses were in um, transition. It was springtime. We were right at thaw. There's often um, extremely unsightly conditions from matted hair um, that is shedding. Now, the SPCA argues that the horses were living in filth and weren't given the medical treatment they needed. We'll be in court this morning and bring you the very latest on WIVB.com. Reporting live, Michelle McClintock, News 4 Wake Up.